In this video, we're going to look at the built-in front panel simulators that ship with the Communication Protocol Test Harness. The Test Harness ships with three DNP front panel simulators and one Modbus front panel simulator. So let's begin by looking at the DNP3 front panel simulators. To open a simulator, we just open a channel. We're going to select DNP Slave. And then on the session, we're going to choose the appropriate simulator. We'll start with the generic slave and open. This opens the generic slave, which has checkboxes to control the binary inputs, has sliders for the analog inputs, binary outputs and analog outputs can be controlled from a master, and it has some built-in counters that simply count the number of output commands that have been issued. Next, let's look at the ABB PCD front panel simulator. Once again, we open a DNP slave. This time we choose the ABB PCD simulator. And here's the front panel. The front panel has hotspots for buttons at work, so we can open and close the relay, remote block, ground block, and reclose block. We have sliders for the voltage and the current. And notice if we slide the current up too much, there's some simulation built in. When the current gets too high, the relay opens. Next, let's look at the Schweitzer 351S relay. Again, we open a DNP3 slave. This time under the database, we'll choose the 351S. And here's our front panel. Like the ABB simulator, where the trip and close buttons work, the status shows on the little LED there. We can enable ground, reclose, and remote. And this also has the simulation, so if we move the current up too high, the breaker will open. And finally, let's look at the Modbus simulator. This time we'll open a Modbus slave. And we'll choose the generic slave front panel simulator. Like the DNP3 simulator, we have checkboxes for the discrete inputs, sliders for the input registers, and coils and holding registers can be controlled from the master. All of these simulators ship with source code, so you are free to put in your own picture of the front panel, move the hotspots to the appropriate place for the buttons and LEDs, add any additional simulations you want, and make a nice front panel simulator of your own device.